everyone, I'm back with another weekly favorite and this week I am sharing with you my current favorite beauty slash cosmetic product. And the product that I'm sharing is Tempting Eyeshadow by MAC. It is beautiful. I have been using this product for quite some time now. This is actually my second one. This is my initial one. Look how much of that I used. <laughs> Still a little in there, but I went ahead and got another one because I was afraid I would run out. <laughs> so anyway, I use this product probably 98% of the time. I use this eye color for a casual look and for a dressier look, for special occasions, non-occasions, and everything in between. This is my go-to. And it is my go-to for several reasons. First of all, it is highly pigmented. Pigmented. <laughs> I know um, there have been times when I've purchased products before and I look into the package or I look at the pack, the, the color in the package is not the same color that I see when I apply it to my face. Or I have to continue to use a ton of the product just to get color on my face. Not the case with this eye color. I use a reasonable amount of product and I get great color payoff and the color is just as you see it in the container. There's a little bit of a glare, I'm sorry. Here we go. I have some makeup on my fingers, so if my fingers look a little weird, it's makeup. <laughs> so um, one reason that I like it, like I said, is it's highly pigmented and also I love the application. It blends well, it goes on evenly, it's so easy to use. And if you are new to using makeup or like me and just kind of getting back into enjoying playing with the makeup, it is user friendly. It's very hard to mess up. And I love that it has shimmer. Now, I don't like glitter eyeshadow at all. I don't like glitter because it ends up in places on my face where I don't want it and it's too loud and I just don't like it. I lean more towards matte lipsticks and I, lean, I definitely lean more towards um, matte eye color for sure. But this eye color has some shimmer to it, but the shimmer is not overbearing. It's not jumping out at me when I look into the mirror. It's just enough shimmer to give me the pop that I want and the finish that I want. And it's just enough shimmer to give me a look that looks like I did a whole lot more than I actually did, which is my favorite thing about this product. I don't know if it is my eye primer, the shape of my eye, or my skin tone, but when I used this eye color, it looks like I've used two or three colors. It looks like I have just done a, a superb job of blending my shadows. You can see a little bit of gold, golden tone, and it looks like there's maybe some brown and a little bit of black in there, and it's really not. It's really only this. And that is probably my favorite thing about this product is that it gives me a look as if, it, it gives me a look, <laughs> It looks like I've done a lot more than I actually have. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. And that is probably, that is the main reason that I reach for it because it's so easy to apply. I don't need a lot of product. It blends well, it goes on evenly, and it looks like I did a whole lot more than I did. So I am going to show you how this looks when I put it on. Um, so to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I have applied my um, eye primer, which is Groundwork, also by MAC. And I also have a little bit of highlight underneath my brows and a little bit of black underneath my eyes. So I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm using the MAC 217 blending brush. Now let me open my container here so you can see what the color looks like here. So I'm just going to dab my brush here. And hopefully, I'm, I am accustomed to, of course, using a mirror. So this is going to be a little tricky. <laughs> so just bear with me. But hopefully you will be able to see what I'm talking about as far as um, 
how evenly it goes on and how the color it's one color but it somehow looks like two or three different colors on my lid so I will typically take the brush and I will just pack it on now I am not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination nor am I a makeup guru so if you see some weird way that I'm doing things you can leave me a comment and give me a suggestion I liked makeup a little bit in high school but I have really started to get into having fun with makeup and I am learning so after I pack it on I just blend and hopefully you can start to see how those colors go on and if you look here in the crease of my eye it looks a lot darker than on my lid and so sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of the color and pack it right there to get more of that effect like I said I don't know if it's the shape of my eye my skin tone the primer which I don't always use the primer and I still get the same effect but I mean it looks like I've to me it looks like I put on a few different colors and I haven't only this so I'm going to finish my face and once I finish my face I'll give you a close-up look so you can see it a little better with how it goes on but I mean I I, I just I love it and I haven't blended it that well because I don't have my I'm not in front of a mirror so let me go and sort of clean this up a bit and then I'll show you you know how it looks when I'm all done so this is the finished look and I applied MAC luster glass to my lips and I lined my lips with MAC chestnut lip liner this is kind of a neutral lip gloss so anyway that is it and I also wanted to let you know that on the MAC website the tempting eyeshadow is listed for $16 I didn't order my eyeshadow online I purchased it from my um, local MAC counter but just as a point of reference, just so you know, as far as pricing goes, it is listed online for $16. So that is it. That is my weekly favorite. I thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments below uh, if you have used this particular eyeshadow or any other eye colors that you think I might be interested in. Like I've said before, I am just kind of getting back into having fun with makeup again. And once I find something... I kind of stick with it. Like I said, this is my eye look 98% of the time. So I don't, I have some other eye colors that I use sometimes, but nine times out of 10, this is what I'm wearing. So if there's anything that you think I might um, be interested in or that I might like, feel free to let me know. I'm, I'm open to trying something different. <laughs> but again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.